Welcome to this episode of Crawl USA podcast. Today we're going to talk about the YouTube video Reds vs. Trep by Chris Desert Dog. So we got a couple things to talk about. Yeah. All right. Let's get into it. Um, so one of the things I wrote down here was, uh, man, is this the Bible? Is this one of the... Well, I, I don't know if it's the Bible. I think it's pretty informative. It lines up with my experience, my limited experience after running both tires. I, there was nothing in the video I disagree with. Okay. So I think it's, I think it's a pretty good analysis. Okay. So what was your first set of stickies? Uh, my first set was the BFG Reds, 39s. How'd they do? Um, they're great, you know, as far as um, performance and, and, and hooking up on, on the places that we crawl. But um, the sidewalls were definitely a, a problem. So I think from that, right, I think that would be... The only thing that I could see in the video that's maybe missing, right? Like, stickies may not matter um, as far as what you want to run, right? Again, it comes to the driver, your build, a bunch of things like that. Um, but I don't think uh, anything was really mentioned about the terrain you're wheeling in. Yeah, the only reference you had to terrain was um, in reference to the, the slick rock in Utah, you know, that it wore... You know, it took a lot of rubber off the tires. Right. So yeah. what what did we experience down here? Well, out here in New Mexico, there's a lot of sharp rock, a lot of narrow trails. Um, you you know, you're chasing um, what we call arroyos out here. Um, they're like ravines, you know, narrow canyon uh, areas where, where water runs through, and the rock's really sharp. So uh, the weak sidewall is a big factor out here. You know, run... Uh, several tires out here, uh, sticky and, and non-sticky compounds. And the treps are the first ones I've had that I didn't have sidewall issues. All right. So for us, it's pretty important sidewall construction. Um, you know, just for that alone, I think, I think price wise, we'd both like to be running something different. Yeah, for sure. Right. If we lived in a different area, um, you know, I think there'd be some better choices and cheaper choices. I don't know about better, but cheaper choices for sure, I guess. Right? So looking at that, but, you know, is the price a factor on stickies? Yeah, it's definitely a factor. Um, <clears throat> especially now, especially running 40s and up, they're, they're expensive. Right? So does the price pay off for the better sidewall? Um, I think it does, Yeah, you know, because it's a lot of time, downtime on the trail. I mean, you could argue you can buy a lot of plugs and patches for a few hundred bucks, you know, probably a lifetime supply, but, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a drag. And, and sometimes it's, you know, we've had to fix tires in some pretty inconvenient spots. So, yeah. Um, and, now, and I run without a spare. You do too. Yeah, we don't run spares. So if you're out in the desert without a spare, having that extra peace of mind with the, with the tougher sidewall is a big deal. At least for me it is. Have you learned anything with sticky tires? Yeah. <laughs> if you, would you go sticky, man, you're not going back. That's for sure. You know, I mean, I'm sure some guys do, but I, I can't imagine, um, you know, it when you're on tough stuff, right, and, and you're maybe a little out of your comfort zone, every little advantage you have for staying on that that rock, that obstacle, not slipping off. Um, you know, because slipping off a big rock can create a lot of problems. Yeah, so, put you in bad positions. Um, and a lot so, of our rocks out here are pretty slick. Yeah, I right? mean, it's, it just depends on the type of rock. Some of it's like, polished glass sand gets on it and is even worse uh you know i think the other thing i learned from stickies really is that you got to be built for them 
yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, you know, running a sticky, like a a, a forty inch sticky on a on a on a Dana forty four. That's that's stock. That's going to be busting some some axle shafts most likely if you if you're wheeling it hard. If you if you're trying, you're going to break some shit. Right. You know, shaft steering, everything's a lot more wear and tear, a lot harder on it. So. Um. <clears throat> Uh, so one of the things he said interesting, uh, he said the tires you are running are the best tires. Do you feel that's true or not true? I, I think that's a good observation, right? I think most people, whatever they're running, that's going to be the the shit as far as they're concerned, right? It doesn't matter what you know what what part of the rig it is or or what brand it is. Um, and I think after you do it for a while. Uh, you know, you, you, there's a lot of trial and error and I don't, I'll admit I've wasted a lot of money on, on stuff that I, I didn't need or, or wasn't the right thing at the time. Um, you know, some of it's based on, uh, on price, but you know, yeah, the good stuff's more expensive, and but there's generally a reason that it's more expensive. Not always, but most of the time. Yeah, I think it was mentioned in the video, too. Um, you know, true to tire size is, I think, somewhat important. Right? Yeah. If I'm buying a 39-inch tire, spending that kind of money, I kind of want 39 inches. Right? I don't want less than that, especially with that kind of wear. Um, you know, so... I think that factors into it a little bit once you get to a certain level. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, um, I like the fact that my traps are running actually a little larger because it gives me an idea too, if I'm looking at another tire, um, you know, how that's going to clear with my build. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, I think the last question I have that for this would be, so you've ran the reds, right? Um, I've never ran the reds. I've run the blues, uh, which I really enjoyed those tires. Uh, they had a strong sidewall and they were a little bit softer and they did pretty good. I was running them in a 37, uh, but you've run the reds and the treps. Now I'm running the treps in a 40. Uh, I think we're both very happy with them. The performance of them, um, sidewall performance, mostly, um, cause like the video said, they either want to probably crawl whatever you want, depending on your skill. Uh, but is there a different sticky you would be interested in going to? Well, you know, if I had the money, I'd like to try them all. Um, but honestly, there's there's nothing about the traps that's given me any inclination to change. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with them. Would you buy them again when these wear out? Too big to fail. <laughs> Too big to fail. <laughs> I think I have to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I agree. I don't think I could. You know, I think so with some of the other stickies, they're so wide that that would definitely be a problem for me. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be a problem for you and some of the terrain we get into, right? We walked that one trail and it was already too tight that I'm not sure we can get you through it. And if you were. Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. You know, with the, I think you're, you're probably referring to the, the 43 inch Mickey Thompson right? Yeah. That thing, when it's mounted, spreads out pretty wide. And I have a, you know, 73 inch, uh, wide axle, you know, wheel mounting surface to wheel mounting surface. It's so adding those trying, I mean, I'd love to try them, but, um, I think I'd, I'd run into some, some clearance issues and probably be too wide for some of the stuff that I don't know. If, is there such a thing as too wide? I don't know. Can you get through squeeze with them? Ride the sidewall, you know? Man, all the way through in that first drop in and then coming out, you think you could get out on those? Man, yeah. How high would you have to be on that wall? Just high enough. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty wild. Um, all right. Anything else to add? Um, no, I think if, if you haven't seen that video, uh, from Chris Desert Dog. It's a good one. I actually watched that video before I owned my first set of stickies. 
Yeah, we know? bought a durometer to test things. Yeah, so I I, I found it really useful, yeah. you know. Um, and um, I, I agree with, you know, many of the points he makes. You know, the, the tire is not the thing that's going to get you through a tough trail. It can help you, right? But if, if, if your rig isn't built for it and you're, you're not ready for it, um, as far as your, um, your seat time, uh, the, the tire is not going to be the make it or break it factor. Um, but like we've discussed, you know, it could be the difference between, you know, having to break out your, your kit and, and start plugging, uh, and not. So, um, it's a big factor out here. All right. I think that does it for this one. Uh, thanks everybody. Uh, we'll see you out on the trail. See you there. So what's your experience with sticky 